guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be my 2019 bullet journal setup and I'm super pumped to show you guys my yearly spread for 2019. I kept it super simple so it's super easy to follow. I also changed quite a couple of things compared to last year. Last year it was so hard for me to keep up with my bullet journal so that's why I wanted to keep the theme a lot more simple, the spreads a lot more simple so it's easier for me to fill out. But that's my number one tip for any new bullet journalers, just keep it simple. And I guess that's basically all I have to say for this intro, let's just go ahead and and get started. Before we get started, I just want to mention that all the materials that I will be using will be linked in the description bar if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. So the notebook that I decided to use this year is the Great Elephant Notebook from Zingbats. On the very first page, there is a little section where you can write your name and contact information if you were to ever lose your journal. On the back side of that page, I sketched out a floral pattern and I traced it out with my black Pilot Juice pen. I'm currently really into the look of stamps on brown paper, so that's kind of going to be the theme of these yearly spreads. I went ahead and stamped out the numbers 2019 and I tore the sides around it just to give it more of a vintage effect. Then I'm just using some adhesive tape to secure it in place. The next page is going to be the key for my bullet journal. Even though I've bullet journaled for quite some time now, I always seem to forget some of the keys, so having this page is super helpful to look back on. Just to spice up these pages, I decided to make the leaves a reoccurring theme in these spreads as well. And here I'm using my Artline Sticks in black to title this page. As you can see, my calligraphy strokes are basically non-existent, so that's something I will definitely start practicing this upcoming year. But full calligraphy is the way to go. Now for the actual key part, I'm writing it on a piece of cut out brown paper. Then I'm sticking it in place with my adhesive tape. Now onto the next pages. I pre-stamped this quote that says, when it's dark, look for the stars. I really like this quote because it's simple and short. It also reminds me to stay positive and to look at the bright side of things. So that's the quote that I chose for this page. The next page is going to be my 2019 goals page. It's always good to set goals, whether you have life goals, work goals, fitness goals. It's good to have something to work towards. So this page is definitely an important page to have. And to title this page, I'm testing out this brush pen that I will be talking about really soon in a haul. So keep an eye out for that. To finish off the page, I just drew a line on each side to create a box and I think something as simple as that just made this page so much cuter. Now onto the next spread, we're doing our monthly spreads. And I've already pre-stamped this 2019 and I'm just going to secure it down with some tape. This year, I decided to make these monthly spreads vertical because I think it's a lot cuter and easier to fill out. So each page will have three months. I am going to draw a line between each month to keep them separated. 
I also decided to make a horizontal line at the bottom and this is where I'm gonna put birthdays. The area on top is where we will be putting our events. I think it's nice to keep these two things separated so if you were ever to look for birthdays, you don't have to look through a bunch of events to see that someone's birthday is coming up. I think the spread would be a lot more efficient this way. For the calendar part, I really want to use a white gel pen on top of black just to make the header really pop out. And I really liked how it turned out. So I went ahead and did this for the rest of the months. And to finish off the spread, I added some of the leaves to the top of these pages. Next, I am doing my milestones page and this page I'm going to track my YouTube and my Instagram milestones. But if you have any other goals or milestones that you would like to track, this would be the perfect page. I decided to make the spread a Polaroid theme. I've been seeing a lot of it in the bullet journal community and I definitely wanted to try it out myself. So I'm drawing three lines across these two pages and I'm going to use these lines to draw hanging Polaroids and on each Polaroid we are going to track each milestone. To pull this page together, I decided to draw a cute little Polaroid camera in the corner. And to continue on with the theme of florals, I had the leaves coming out from the sides of the Polaroid. Since I wanted the Polaroid pictures to be kind of similar in size, I decided to cut out a piece of cardstock and use that to trace out each little Polaroid that I will be using for each milestone. Now onto the next tracker, it's going to be a book tracking page. And although, to be honest, I don't read much, having this page really motivates me to read more throughout the year, so I really enjoy having this page. This is a good page for you to list out books that you want to read, books that you've already read, and you can also rate books that you've already read, so it's cool to look back on and to see which books that you enjoyed throughout the year. But at the bottom of the page, I decided to draw a girl reading a book and I did a really similar drawing last year which I really really enjoyed so I wanted to continue that this year. And obviously to finish it off, I drew some leaves around her as well. Now onto the next page, this page will be my watch list and here I will track any shows that I've watched, movies, animes, dramas. And on this page, I'm drawing a roll of film across the top and some on the bottom of the page as well. I actually got this idea from Pinterest. Pinterest is where I get most of my inspirations from. So if you guys don't already have Pinterest, definitely, definitely download it and check out bullet journal stuff on there. It's really awesome. But I went ahead and colored in and darkened it with my black marker. Then I'm using my white uniball gel pen to draw in the little dashes on the side. Now 
Now onto the final page and tracker, I decided to do a music tracking page for each month. And this page is kind of like a monthly playlist where you can put your favorite songs of each month down. I think it's really cool to look back on as well so you can see which songs you enjoyed and re-listen to them. So on top of the page, we are drawing a little cassette. And then on the bottom of the cassette, I'm having the tape look like it's writing out mixtape. To finish it off, we're going to have the leaves come out from the side of the cassette. And for the rest of the page, I'm writing out each month and each month I'm giving it two full lines. So I guess I can write two of my top favorite songs of each month down. But that's basically it for this page. I actually really, really loved how my bullet journal turned out this year. It's super simple and I really like that there aren't a lot of colors. I just kept it black, white, and brown. But that's all I have to show you guys for my 2019 bullet journal setup. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked and enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on my study Instagram. It's noted by Christy. I will definitely start posting the upcoming year. I will be posting my school notes or spreads that I don't show on YouTube. So make sure to follow me on there. And that's all I have to say for this video. And I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye!